but I think it speaks to us very clearly as well about what communion really is. Um, well, even when he talk, Paul talks about the way that we prophesy, the way that we speak, the way that we hold public office, the way that we um, have some sort of authority in the way that we do things, um, there needs to be some, some thought to the people that we're ministering to. There needs to be uh, the way that we comport ourselves, what we're drawing attention to. Are we, when we're preaching or when we're leading worship or if we're praying or prophesying or whatever it is that we're doing, if we're, if we're doing something that draws that people are supposed to be focused on us as we do that, the question we have to ask is who do we want the attention to go to? Are we acting in such a way that it's all about me or are we acting in such a way that you don't even notice that I'm here because all you're seeing is what God is doing? That's really what has to drive all of our ministry. But then when we sit down for communion as well, it doesn't matter where we stand in, in any of the social order outside of that church setting, when we come into that, in those four walls of that church, or when we come over a meal as brothers and sisters, we see each other as equals. We see each other as of equal worth, of equal value, because that's exactly how Christ sees us. He says, you know, if you think you're so great, if you're, if you're in a position of leadership, if you're in a position of authority, your task at that point is to serve. It's not like the world does it. Leadership in the church is something entirely different to what the world does or understands of leadership. Leadership, as far as Christ is concerned, is washing the feet of those that we're called to lead. 